Moving on to the second of the great points you made in your presentation, another point is get rid of the rituals. So this is kind of surprising because I think a lot of people talk about, oh, I always have to have my cup of coffee and I always have to be sitting at this desk. Why do you recommend against rituals? I think ritual could be really self-limiting in the sense that life doesn't always allow for ritual. I, I had this idea in my head you know, back when I was a, a little baby writer that I needed to only write at night and only write if I had a glass of wine and only write if there was like a certain type of music playing. And sometimes it was like getting all those things to line up was like really difficult. And the thing that I learned from being a parent uh, was that, you know, you write when you can, because your schedule is not your own anymore. Your time is not your own anymore. There, there was a period when my daughter was, you know, in her first year, I would know that when she went down for her afternoon nap, it was like, I got an hour and a half. And I've got it now and I got to use it, you know, or, or even now, you know, there are days that she's with me that I don't want to write. I just want to hang out with her and do dumb stuff. And I know that then the days that she's not with me, I need to really knuckle down and focus on what I'm doing. So, you know, I always, it's like rules and rituals scare me because it's like, if you're not adhering to those rules and ritual, it's easy to kind of feel like, oh, this isn't going to work. You know, I've always thought it's better to just say that the work gets done or it doesn't. And then that's really the only thing you need to focus on. Yeah. And I think it's important to just get, get this idea out of your head of everything has to be done a certain way. It's like everyone's process is going to be uniquely their own. And, and that's really what you spend a lot of, even like the first couple of years of me, like trying to learn how to do this was me trying to figure out how is the way that I need to do this. You know, and it's going to look different from everyone else's. And I think we all, you know, everyone starts off from a place of copying. Like we want to know what everyone's rituals are because we're like, well, we need to find what works. The thing that I get worried about is when people take everything as a rule. It's, oh, you write like this. I have to write like this. And it's no, you have to write like you write. You don't have to write like I write because the way I write might be weird. You know, I got a buddy, Jordan, who pound for pound is, I think, one of the best novelists working today. Jordan Harper, his last book was called Everybody Knows. His book, She Rides Shotgun, is going to be a movie soon. He's unbelievable. And he writes his book. He writes all his favorite scenes out of order and then kind of stitches them together. And that's insane to me. It's like, <laughs> I, how? Like, like that, that, that is not a thing that, that I could ever understand or recommend to anyone. And yet he's amazing. You know, yep. but that's his process and that's okay. You know, it, it looks different for him and, and I'm happy for him. But if someone told me the only way I could write is if I wrote like that, I don't know if I can write. Yeah, I think that a, an extension of exactly what you're saying is the fact that uh, if you decide you can only write between eight and 10 in a dark room with a glass of wine, then it's not only a problem when you, you know, you run out of wine or your daughter wants to play with you at eight. But I think being that reliant on, Ritual also probably makes people over-reliant on whatever approach they're using at the moment. So let's say that outlining everything in a five-act structure is what's working for you. And if you allow yourself to sort of get into the rut in your writing schedule, you might also get into a rut. Maybe the five-act structure stops serving you, but you don't notice because it's just what you do. And, you know, that getting into the rut can leak into a lot of other areas of your writer life. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the thing is, this is such a hard thing to do. It's hard to say, I'm going to sit down for several hours today and look at a Word document and make up funny little people and then make them get to trouble. You know, because not only is the act itself really difficult, but then the fact that you're going to do it for months and then edit it for months, and it may turn out to be all for nothing. You know, there's no guarantee that it's even going to work. It, it, it is this incredible leap of faith that somehow, some way, the whole thing is going to work out. And I still start off novels. I don't know how to write a novel. I don't know how to do this. I can't finish this. What am I doing? I've written eight, and I still don't always believe that I have the ability to write a novel. And But that's kind of, the, the, that's the thing. It's like the, I'm always trying to remove impediments, not add them, you know? And I think as you add impediments, it just, it makes it that much harder. 